Hello, my name is Taylor Walczakowski, and I'm here to talk to you about the history behind the National and the American Leagues of Baseball. What do you think of when you hear the words Major League Baseball? Could your thoughts go directly to your favorite team? What about the equipment the players use, such as the bats, helmets, gloves, and baseballs? Or do you think of the spectator side of the game, like the foods or the beautiful fields? Most fans don't think about the history behind baseball or how America's pastime became an organized sport. The National Association of Professional Baseball Players was founded in 1871 and continued through the 1875th season. It succeeded and incorporated several professional clubs from the National Association of Baseball Players. In turn, several of its clubs created the seceding National League. It was the first professional baseball league ever. William Holbert, a Chicago businessman and an officer of the Chicago White Stockings, approached several national association clubs with the plans for a league with a stronger central authority and exclusive territories in larger cities only. On February 2, 1876, the National League of Baseball was established with eight charter members. These were the National League teams at that time. They included the Chicago White Stockings, today the Chicago Cubs, the Boston Red Stockings, now the Atlanta Braves, the St. Louis Brown Stockings, Louisville Grays, and Hartford Dark Blues, which all folded after the 1877 season, the Cincinnati Red Stockings, who were expelled after the 1880 season, and the New York Gothams, who are now the San Francisco Giants. The American League was originally a minor league, known as the Western League. The Western League struggled until 1894, when Ban Johnson became president of the league. He led the Western League to a major league status and became president of the newly renamed American League of Baseball in 1901. These were the American League teams at the time. These teams, also called the Classic Eight, included the Baltimore Orioles, now the New York Yankees, the Chicago White Stockings, renamed the Chicago White Sox, the Detroit Tigers, still the Detroit Tigers, the Washington Senators, now the Minnesota Twins, the Boston Americans, today the Boston Red Sox, the Cleveland Blues, now the Cleveland Indians, the Milwaukee Brewers, now called the Baltimore Orioles, and the Philadelphia Athletics, who are now the Oakland Athletics. Of course, there are many more teams for both the American and National Leagues, but these are just the original teams for the leagues. The first World Series was played in an effort to end a two-year rivalry between the National and American Leagues and to promote unity in baseball. It was a close series, but the Boston Americans from the American League ended up beating the National League's Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, a World Series is played once a season by the two best teams from each league. The winner is supposedly the best team that season out of both leagues. Baseball today is as it was created to be. Not only is it a fun game for players anywhere from Little League to Major League Baseball, but it is also an entertaining sport for fans all across the world, young and old, who rally together to cheer for their favorite player or root for their favorite team.